I'm doing my best. Now get the f out of my wheelhouse. I can't believe that. I'm shocked. That is so f stupid of him. The owner of this boat, when he sent me off for my first trip as a captain, he said one thing. Don't let the crew run the boat. In Dutch Harbor. I'm ready to go. With their king season complete, the crew of the 125 foot Northwestern are rigged and ready for bear die. When you're crab fishing, it's always something. I gotta worry about Edgar. Oh my God. Despite his commitment to run the boat for bear die. I'm real happy about the whole thing. We had lots of back pain in the past, but this is, this is different. Zig's brother, Edgar, is now backing out. Oh, he's not real happy, that's for sure. How you feeling? Sore. Sore? No. This was one that we got to, like, figure out. If I want to do this bear die thing, I need to know if you're going to make it up or not. We're going to ship you to Anchorage. I got a doctor's appointment. I'm real happy about the whole thing. OK? All right. Good. So sounds like he's fired up and ready to go. Yeah, off to Anchorage. Sig gave me the option. I mean, if you want to run the boat for Bear Dye, it's all yours. And that's what I'm striving for, you know? I'm striving to get in the wheelhouse. So not being there for Bear and I, I think, is really hurting me more. In the meantime, we just got to worry about what's happening here today. All I can do right now is try to keep the family business going, go find some Bear Dye, and then uh, wait for Edgar's call. That's all I can do. A little praying wouldn't hurt either. 210 miles northeast of Dutch Harbor. Good morning, Freddy. <laughs> All right, guys, first one's coming up. Captain Keith Colbert nudges the wizard up to his first bear dye pots of the season. This year, the bear dye is where we're making our money, losing the extra king crab. This makes it that much more important that we catch this tanner crab in a timely manner. Starfish gather on a hard bottom, unlike bear dye that tend to feed in muddy terrain. If you see a starfish, you probably won't see crab. It's getting better, getting better. Right on. Another one. right. I think I just scooped up a bag. Yep, it's up on the anchor. The fourth pot in their string gets snagged on the bow of the boat. Can you see it on the anchor? Roger! Damn it. Shoot. Now that's fine. Here you go. Let's see. It can extend if it's not long enough. The crew moves swiftly to free the line and save the pot. We gotta cut it off. It's off. Roger. Okay, off the bow. Off the bow. Yes. Roger. Oh. Uh, was that your ass hitting the ground? It's my back. I hit in something. That hurts. 
As the crew climbed off the bow, deckhand Kevin Stafford lost his footing and slammed his back into the steel anchor winch. Kevin fell over on the way back off the bow, made a hell of a noise, hit the deck, but the last thing we need is injuries. Just the trailer. How's your back? It's not very good. It wasn't muscular. It was like somebody stabbed me in the bottom of my ribs. Hey, Lenny, come here, will you? I'm gonna help you up, okay? Come on, Bear and I. Can I can go back out and do this straight? No, no, no. Let's let's shut you down for a little bit. Go ahead and gear down, because this seems like more than just a muscle strain. Just hours into their first haul. Hey, we're gonna uh Robbie. So you know we're just gonna be going with four guys here for a little bit, okay? Bear die season has claimed its first victim. Now shorthanded, the wizard will haul and stack all 250 pots. Oh, it sucks knocking down a big stack of crab pots, setting them, and then coming back and putting a big stack back on. He should be at least back here doing the bait. But put the boss. I'll make the rules. I've seen it a thousand times, man. Sometimes these guys turn pretty quick on their fellow crewmen when they got to start picking up their slack. Okay. My big splash coming out of retirement to fish bear die is more of a bloop. Just 45 miles west. Aboard the 125 foot Northwestern. You guys ready? This is the one we're waiting for. Captain Sig Hansen approaches his first bear dive pots, set on 20-year-old intel. Come on, Peacock. And the crew have their doubts. Seasons like this, we got to earn our job. OK, let's see what you get here, Sig. What you got? Ancient or ancient secret. <sighs> We're off to a bad jinx start, I'm telling you. Ah, here she comes. I see some crab. I see some good crab. Hey, clean crab. This is sick. We'll see if it continues to keep up, hopefully. The first pot had crab in it, but you know, this thing goes down into a trench, and so they like to kind of hang out on the sides. I think the numbers are gonna get a lot better. Yeah! yeah. 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 Feeling better now. Yeah! Yeah! Yay! Yeah, so how are we looking? Okay, shoot. We had 82. 92, 93. Good, 90. Everybody's smiling right now. <laughs> I wonder what he's doing up there. I know he's saying something. <laughs> now, I wonder if Jake's crying. I didn't say that this spot wasn't going to be good. OK, maybe I said the spot wasn't going to be good. Holy <laughs> oh, it's too heavy. Yeah. Getting better. Can I tell you or can I tell you? Obviously, that's why Sig is the captain and I am not. 138. So what do you think about my spot now? I'm sorry. I said I was sorry! I'm not worthy! I'm not worthy! Not worthy. 
If there's guys doing better, more power to them. The Northwestern dominates the Baird Eye grounds, while the Wizard gets off to a shaky start. 210 miles from Dutch Harbor. We're behind the eight ball right now. You know, our little run of luck of being out here first is going to end shortly. Hey, if you need a break, take it now, because there's going to be about 35 pops in a row. Kevin. And now we're in a position where we've got a lot of gear to haul, and I think we'll probably can use you out there. Um, and uh, we're going to give it a shot, all right? Sounds good. Okay. All right, guys, get ready. Yeah, four out, man. Just grinding all day. Oh, damn. Really? In top of the corner? While deckhand Kevin Stafford has returned to work. Well, he's helping us by being out there, but I can already tell you, Kevin's not even close to being 100%. The wizard is a boat divided. I'm just trying to take it easy and not no heavy lifting, no up and down all the time. Robbie's running twice as much bait, throwing shots, you know, tying pot ties, and his hands are blowing up. I said, I'll get paid enough to deal with all the bull I go through. Look at him coming down the deck right now. We have no problem stepping it up when a team member's down. But when a team member is blatantly sandbagging, I got no respect for that. I've been the silent guy that just works harder and harder and just gets stepped on. Not anymore. You got a second key? I do. Hang on. Yeah, what's up? Um, I don't know what our plans are with Kevin when we hit the beach. Yeah. As you've seen, we're busting our asses, picking up slack. Mm hmm And I've never given an ultimatum in my life. All right. If there's not a guy on the beach for him, you're going to have to find two for me, Robbie. Um, well, then, you know what? You and Robbie might as well just pack your bags now. Don't ever give me an ultimate, uh, ever. All right, you want to talk to me about a injured crewman? All right, that's fine. But don't ever walk into this wheelhouse and ever give me an ultimatum. I'm watching what's going on. I see you guys running twice as fast as you have to, OK? I know for a fact that Kevin is dragging the whole damn crew down right now, all right? But don't ever give me an ultimatum. I'm doing my best. Now get the out of my wheelhouse. You and Robbie want to quit? Quit. Sweet. Roger, you went about that the wrong way, dude. Yep. Hey, I need everybody in the rain gear room now. Anybody in the galley? No, I think everybody. Come on, let's go. Outside. Outside. If you guys don't think, where the f is Roger? If you guys don't think that I understand what's going on right now, you're grossly unaware of what I'm watching and what I'm seeing. I understand that you're all busting your ass twice as hard as you normally do because we're short-handed, all right? Kevin's not at full speed. But I'll be damned if somebody's gonna walk into my wheelhouse and give me an ultimatum saying, either he goes or we go. Even if he does go, you guys wanna quit? Quit. And I draw the line on ultimatums. shocked that Roger would do that. It's so stupid of him. The owner of this boat, when he sent me off from my first trip as a captain, as I was pulling away from the dock, he said one thing. Don't let the crew run the boat. I never have and I never will.